Good morning, welcome at ITEX TV. We are here in Rabat, uh, Sofitel, Jardin des Roses. And we're pleased to uh, receive uh, our entertainment coming from all over the world. So at my right, I have the pleasure to receive Shamia Yula, donc Shama Yula from uh, RBC Capital, Royal Bank of Canada. Yes, I'll just yeah. correct, it's pronounced Shama Ola. Shama But you Ola. did a good job, yes, nice. from uh, RBC Capital in Beverly Hills. Welcome in Morocco. Thank you. And in my left, Yasmin Bagai, that we know her. She used to come in Morocco. She's founder of Voyage. Pleasure to be here. So first of all, I would like to uh, introduce you to the, uh, the people who don't know you sure. yet. So what do you do exactly uh, with RBC Capital? Sure, I'm a portfolio manager, which means I manage um, a fund of investments, um, representing mostly institutional clients, nonprofits, foundations, some private clients. Um, and the strategies are really based in impact investments. So impact investing is really looking for investments that have both a financial return as well as a measurable social return. In other words, they do something, they make money and they do good for the world. And you can measure how good they do for the world. So I heard during this ITEX actually mm -hmm. that the impact investment, this is the future in Africa. Do you agree with this? Absolutely. I think it's the future of the world, right? I think we've seen through protests around the world, we've seen through concern about climate change that we can't keep doing things the way that we've been doing them, right? And I think for so long there's been the idea that in order to do well in business, it's just about how much money you make, right? And I think we've really come to that critical point where you know that in order to actually do good business, you have to do well with your resources. You also have to create opportunities for more people. You have to do fair business, right? Because otherwise, the planet will go extinct, people will go extinct, and then what is the purpose of the business? There's nobody here to buy your products. We're all gone, right? So I think definitely, um, Impact investing is the way of the future. I also think that you know the UN has gotten behind impact investing. You look at the launch of the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals. You look at the launch of the UNPRI, which is a principle of responsible investing. And you can see that there's a global movement towards doing better in business. So you know, not just Morocco, not just the continent of Africa, but the entire world. With Voyage, Yasmin Magari, you disrupt the idea of traveling. Uh, and you put something like a social impact in your uh, in your solution. What is Voyage exactly for for the audience? Well, Voyage is really a way, of, a new way of travel, a new way of relating with people from across different cultures and countries. Um, it's um, you know building a sense of community and home and belonging wherever you are. You know, I always say that um, I'm home everywhere. You know, what if we invented that sense of true connection, no matter where you're from, no matter where you're going. So Voyage to me is, um, you know, being able to just like walk into someone's home and have a meaningful, authentic experience and, uh, and, and be home. For an example, we have uh, Shama, she wants to travel in Morocco. How can she use Voyage to discover our country? Well, so she would go on the App Store and she would, uh, you know, answer a few questions about her interests, her values. Um, she would, uh, you know, share her preferences and then she would, she would match with me, <laughs> her host, and we would travel across the whole country, um, you know, showing her how Moroccans live in different parts of the, the country and be able to share meaningful stories, who we are and where we come from, and just kind of break down those cultural misconceptions and barriers and stereotypes to create more global understanding. And so I believe in the personal connection being the essence of how we can break down you know, walls and create peace and empathy. I heard you make a specific focus for women uh, who, who wants to travel, especially in an Arabic country. This is yeah. true in your concept? That is true. We, we worked with the World Bank uh, and Unudo a few years ago, and we've been connecting female entrepreneurs around the Middle East. You know, oftentimes uh, it is hard for women to travel to some countries, mm -hmm. as you might know. And so how do we bridge using technology to connect across the divide? A Moroccan woman with Saudi and Lebanese and, you know, be able to, like, have meaningful conversations online and maybe meet in the United States or in Europe uh, and it's been amazing to see the amount of connections and you know support that these women have for one another it's very critical 
So Shama, uh, you also you help startups uh, with uh, funds, but you also have startups, I think. Yeah, so it's not launched yet. We're still in the prototype phase, but um, it's called Upvest. It's a financial technology platform, really an investment platform that's going to democratize access to capital. So, you know, I think in the finance business, we use a lot of tech terms and investment terms, a lot of jargon. But really the idea came from, you know, when you want to invest your money, there's only a few ways to go. Typically, you have to go to a bank. And if you want personalized service, you have to have a certain amount of money, usually a million US dollars if you're in the US. If you want someone to sit with you, tell you this is how you should invest. But through technology, I think we can actually combat that, right? Everyone should have access to everything, education, capital, resources. So the idea is an investment platform where you put in your financial goals, you put in your objectives, you put in your cultural values. Maybe you're the first person in your family to go to university and actually create wealth. Maybe you are someone who has to take care of your family. Maybe you have all of these additional things besides just I want to invest my money. All of that has to go into your investment strategy. The other idea is bridging financial literacy and education. Because again, when you want to invest, typically there's an idea that everybody knows you already should know about the stock market. You should already know about the bond market. But how can you invest if you don't have this foundation of financial literacy and education? So it's combining financial literacy, education, along with your objectives and values into financial planning for an investment options. When you see all those countries that make more than 25 nationalities coming from all Africa here, mm -hmm. do you think that your solution could uh, be uh, duplicated in uh, Africa and also in Morocco? Absolutely. I mean, I think the idea is eventually, when I say democratize access to capital, that's mm -hmm. a global issue, right? I think if you, not just in the United States, where you see a large amount of inequality, if you travel throughout the world, particularly developing nations, that birth is almost wider, mm -hmm. right? And so you know, obviously there's regulatory issues. Um, that's probably the biggest obs obstacle to scaling um, a platform like this globally. But I do think that over time, that would be the goal. And again, I come back to the UN with the SDGs. That's really the idea behind it, right? Eradicate poverty by a certain period of time. Well, how do you do that? By giving people the pathway. And I think that financial education and literacy is one part of that. So Yasmin, for the last question, I would like to know because you know um, you are, um, the way of entrepreneurs is not easy, especially for for women. We have to be clear about this, especially in Africa, in Morocco. Uh, what kind of advice can you share with the, all the young women entrepreneurs? Well, both a young woman, young woman and young man, um, I really um, want to share that you know. It is really important to identify what your mission is because entrepreneurship is a journey. It's a lot of ups and downs. But when you're so clear about your purpose, the why, are you doing this work, this this project, then uh, it's very, it's much easier to wake up every day and you know and work hard and and keep keep going. So I want to say. Identify your mission statement, your why. Um, don't take no for an answer. And remember that you're part of the world. You know, if it doesn't work here, go somewhere else, come back, give back, uh, and mentor, help one another, and especially stay positive. Like, be, be happy in the process. Stay positive. Uh, so, Shama, it was a pleasure to receive you for the first time in Morocco. Well, what is your thinking about this event, ITEX? Oh business? my goodness, so impressive. I really was saying to Yasmin that, and maybe that this has just been, you know, beyond what I could have imagined. When I first walked in, I mean, the technology blew me away. You just walk in into that red carpet, and it's beyond what I've even seen in the States. I think the advancement in the use of technology. And then you look at the ideas and what people have been talking about, it's so forward thinking. And so, you know, um, I think it's just, it's a world class event. And I also think that it's just such a great opportunity for not just Morocco, but really globally, right? To have something like this where you're bringing leaders, companies, um, and forward-thinking entrepreneurs together to solve global problems um, is really an incredible thing. Thank you, Shama Oulad from RBC Capital, Royal Bank of Canada, and Yasmin Magari, founder of Voyage. So thank you, and uh, follow us at uh, our website, africaitexpo.ma, hashtag ITEX2019, and uh, hope to see you soon with the new guest 
and speakers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.